Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about the best road bike tires that you can currently buy in 2022. So I will give you a bit of a framework, a way of thinking how to buy your best road bike tires. And definitely I will mention certain brands and their products, which I think are very good road bike tires. So as you know, a tire can make a huge difference on the quality of your bike riding. Just think about the tires in any motorsport, if you want, you know, in Formula One, in any other, you know, motorsport, how important tires are. Also, as you know, the tires are the only uh, contact, you know, patch with the surface, only contact point with the surface. So definitely, if you want the best ride, is it, you know, the lowest rolling resistance uh, going as fast as possible or very good, you know, supple soft tire, you really got to pay attention to the tires that you are buying. And finally enough, when you think about the tires, they are not so expensive, you know, to upgrade and change like some other parts of your bar bike. And all the tires that I'm going to be mentioning here, we can usually say that their price, price range is usually going to be something between, I would call it, you know, 50 to 70 US dollars, because you can always find tires on different discounts. So keep that in mind that it's not very expensive to replace your tires. So we can kick off with an absolute legend when it comes to road bike tires and other, you know, bicycle tires, and that's Continental. Continental brand from Germany, as I say, absolute legend when it comes to the tires. You can also see a lot of Continental tires being used on the professional levels of racing just because they are absolutely superb. And Continental has these beautiful little graphics that you can see now where they have you know, uh, put their different tires, different tire types, considering is it their premium tire, racing tire, sportive tire, or, you know, some kind of time trial tires. Uh, for this video, I'm gonna focus on their two very impressive tires, and this is the Continental Grand Prix 5000 S uh, TR tire, which is tubeless ready tire, and the Continental Grand Prix 5000 tire, like a classical clincher tire. So as you already see, there are generally two big types of tires. So do you have a clincher tire or do you have a tubeless tire? So clincher tire, of course, has an inner tube. So that's a classical tire that has been around for a while. When we speak about the tubeless tires, you don't have a tube inside. This is the same principle like your tires on a car, no tube inside, but you need to have a special tubeless valve and a tubeless tape inside and also you can use the, the, the sealant inside if you have any puncture. So this is the main difference. So keep in mind tubeless tires and a clincher tires. So now, as I said, the first tire I want to mention is the Continental Grand Prix 5000 S TR tire. So this is a tubeless ready tire. Their newest tire, absolutely, you know, excellent, superb tire. Lots of professional teams are using this tire and also, for example, bunch of you know famous bike races professional bike races have been already won on this tire uh, personally i always like to look at the 28 millimeter tires so some of the specifications if we look at the 28 mil tire would be that this tire is 275 grams it has 220 tpi so treads per inch so what does that mean so uh, usually the more TPI treads per inch you have, the tire is going to be more supple and more comfortable. But you know, on the other hand, you can easily puncture that tire. So this 220 TPI is a very supple tire, very comfortable tire. And of course, this is a tubeless uh, ready tire. The retail price is, as I said, 75 British pounds, 75 US dollars. But this is, you know, retail, you can always find it on some kind of discount. So I wouldn't be surprised if you can find this tire on the levels of, you know, like 60 US dollars. Absolutely superb tire. Have a look at the Continental Grand Prix 5000 S TR tire. If you are looking for a tubeless tire and they make it in different sizes, you know, 25 mil, 28 mil, 30 mil, 32 mil. So it's absolutely up to you. But personally, I would focus on the 28 mil tire. The second option from Continental that you can consider if you want a clincher tire is their Continental Grand Prix 5000 tire. So this clincher tire, 
which will require an inner tube. Again, they make it in different sizes from 23 mil, 25 mil with 28 mil, 30, 32 mil. So you really have a huge choice. But if we look at the 28 mil version of Continental Grand Prix 5000, the weight is 235 grams and it has 330 TPI and the retail price is 66 British pounds. So 330 TPI is a super, super supple tire, very nice and comfortable tire. But again, keep in mind that this can also influence the puncture level. So the higher TPIs you have, the easy it is to puncture this tire. So these two tires are from Continental, definitely to consider. So Continental Grand Prix 5000 S TR, if you need a tubeless tire and Continental Grand Prix 5000 if you need a classical clincher tire. Then we move on to Goodyear tires. I don't need to say a lot about Goodyear tires, huge heritage in making tires for all kinds of vehicles, but specifically in this case we speak about the Goodyear uh, tubeless uh, bicycle tires. Of course they have their you know clincher tires but what I wanted to what I wanted to focus here are their tubeless tires. And specifically we are speaking about the Goodyear Eagle F1 tire, their tubeless tire. And when we look some of their uh, technical specifications for this Eagle F1 tire, we can see that, uh, for example, if you want a 28 millimeter tubeless tire, it's gonna have 120 TPI, it's going to be 315 grams. So now consider this 120 TPI. This is much lower than, for example, Continental uh, Grand Prix 5000 TR tire. So it's not going to be so supple and so comfortable. But then again, you will have uh, better, you know, puncture protection. So keep this in mind when you are looking at Goodyear Eagle F1 tire. Also the retail price for this tire, Goodyear doesn't mention it here, but again expect about you know 50, 60 US dollars easily for this tire. But another excellent tire from Goodyear to consider if you need a tubeless or a, or a tubed you know clincher tire. Another option you should consider is Pirelli. Pirelli again a huge heritage in making tires. Uh, 150 years in making tires and you can see Pirelli tires also today in Formula One. Specifically the tire I'm going to look now is their Pirelli P0 race TLR tire, so tubeless ready tire. Uh, funnily enough uh, with Pirelli you can choose you know different colors on the side of the tire, is it black, is it yellow, white, red, which is very beautiful from Pirelli to offer. Personally this yellow one looks just uh, beautiful in my opinion. And when we look at some specifications of this tire again, I'm just going to focus briefly on the 28 millimeter tire because I think these are very, very useful tires. And we have a 270 grams weight of the tire, you know, pretty light tire, 120 TPIs. So again, a similar story like a Goodyear Eagle F1 tire, a bit lower in the TPI than Continental tires. So definitely not so supple and definitely not so, you know, comfortable. But again, you will have a definitely a better puncture uh, protection than let's say Continental tires. So Pirelli P0 race TLR tire, again, an excellent choice if you are looking for a tubeless ready tire. And finally, I will mention another brand which a lot of people are just not familiar with, and this is Schwalbe, Schwalbe from Germany. Excellent brand when it comes to mountain bike tires, road bike tires. Again, they have a huge heritage in making tires. They definitely know what they are doing. And in this case, if you have the money, I would definitely advise you to have a look at their Schwalbe Pro 1 TLE tire, so tubeless ready tire excellent you know tire smooth uh, soft tire absolutely great tire and again expect the prices to be probably you know 50 60 us dollars for this tire but uh, let's say if you are a bit you know strapped with cash you don't need to go with the schwalbe pro one range of tubeless tires you can go with their schwalbe one tubeless tires because schwalbe one range is more for like a training tire but make no mistake it's going to be an excellent tire their uh, pro one range is more about uh, racing tires so this is you know higher levels more expensive tires of course if you can uh, afford it i would definitely you know recommend you to have a look at schwalbe pro one tubeless tire but worst case scenario you just go with schwalbe one tire so 
In a summary, as I said, the main thing you need to consider with tires is do you need a tubeless tire, which doesn't have an inner tube inside, or do you need a clincher tire, which will have a tube inside. And the tires I've shown you today is definitely to consider Continental Grand Prix 5000 STR, if you need a tubeless tire, if you need a clincher tire, Continental Grand Prix 5000 tire, then again consider Goodyear Eagle F1 tire for your tubeless tire or you can go with a clincher tire and definitely consider the Pirelli P0 race TLR tire if you need a tubeless tire and I have added another you know almost like a wild horse here which is a Schwalbe tires excellent tires and specifically Schwalbe Pro 1 range Pro 1 tubeless tires so I think this is going to be it for today I hope you like what I'm doing and if you do please do subscribe hit that little like button keep on watching and as always I will see you soon in the next episode cheers